Hey everybody, welcome to another video on ReviewBySigarFellas.com. I'm Moose. I'm Dryden. And today we are going to be doing the Blood Red Moon um, by Cult Cigars. And um, it, it's intriguing nonetheless for me because, I mean, that's just, to me, that's, that's really cool that they have a name like that actually. But uh, tell us a little bit about this one. You know, actually, I don't know much about it. I mean, as you can see, it's kind of a shorter stick. Uh, they actually come in a little five-pack, uh, little packet, um, but it is a premium long filler cigar, and I know uh, this is either the second or third offering by Cult Cigars, and um, their first one being a little more on the medium-bodied side. This one, um, from what I understand, is actually a little more full-bodied, full so I'm actually looking forward to this one a lot. It's, um, from what I've been told, a lot of people have given it a lot of good reviews, so um, looking forward to giving it a shot and telling you guys about it, so yeah. Uh, you know, one thing I pick up right away is the smell of this really smells like tobacco to me. Um, I definitely get a lot of tobacco. Um, when I just stuck it in my mouth for a moment there, um, it, you can you can just tell this is going to be a powerhouse cigar. And, uh, I don't know. I'm going to fire mine up. Yeah, I was going to say, let's, uh, let's quit yakking and more burning. Yeah, but like you said, the... I don't get much nose off it. I get, like I said, the tobacco nose off of it. Nothing, you know, too, uh, you know, um, complimenting or, uh, you know, detracting from that actual smell. So, and as usual, um, if you guys have seen some of our other reviews, I'm toasting a cigar before cutting it. Again, it's sort of one of my rituals. Does it help? Does it not? I'm not sure. I think actually you blogged about it the other day. Um, I did. You know, about cutting cigars and. Things like that, so you guys check it out, uh, leave some comments if you have some comments, but I mean the reason I do it is it sort of uh, stops the smoke from the initial pre-light from getting into the cigar. Um, does it taste the flip? does it change the flavor or not? I'm not sure, but why don't you give it a shot at one of your favorites and uh, tell me about it. Yeah, exactly, and um, you know, as uh, today uh, I did cut this, um, like always with my Zycar scissors. Um, I've just become a huge fan of these things, I love them. They're convenient to carry around. Now one thing I did notice is um, upon cutting this, and it'll be really difficult for you guys to see this, but you can see like a lot of the tobacco, this must be a pretty short filler cigar, because um, as I cut it and I just lightly brushed off this, the, uh, the scraps, it actually kind of divoted uh, inside the cigar, which I don't really care one way or the other, but just letting you guys know kind of what I experienced. Now see, I actually had the exact opposite effect. Mine is actually perfectly straight cut. Um, not sure. We'll, uh, we'll see how they smoke and we'll let you know in a second. We are actually um, pairing this today with our uh, Lafroy. Um, Scotch, and um, I'm hoping that the power of the cigar pairs very well with the uh, Isley Scotch, and uh, I have a feeling it will. I'm having an issue with my lighter here, but I think it's because it's running out of gas. Just on that initial puff, um, actually already seems pretty powerful. I haven't even retrohaled it yet, but uh, uh, it's actually uh, very leathery on the beginning puff. Uh, maybe a hint of spice, but um, that leather note is very powerful. It's a very full flavored cigar. Um, not sure about the body yet, but that'll come out in a little bit. Uh, but just the flavor is uh, very potent. Yeah, absolutely, and um, and you know, you, you actually took the words out of my mouth. Um, I really felt like there was a lot of leather right from the get. Um, however, in my retro hail, um, I was getting the spice, uh, more of a black pepper spice, um, not as strong as some of the um, other real peppery, spicy cigars that I've uh, reviewed, but um, still enough that it definitely you know resonates through your sinuses. Um, I'm finally over my my uh, sinus infection, which, holy cow, that was a nightmare. There's nothing like smoking a cigar and not tasting anything. Right. And um, 
have some paper I, uh, I can roll up for you if you yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. I might as well have. I could have saved a bunch of money by rolling my own out of uh, grass scraps out of my backyard. But, um, no, this is definitely um, a powerhouse. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this may not be for the faint of heart, that's for sure. But, like you said, I, I very much agree with what you said on that pepper. Um, you know, it is spicy. Um, you know, it almost feels like... Uh, I don't know, I want to say kind of licking a belt and, you know, putting some pepper on it while you're doing it. Um, you know, it's sort of in your face uh, flavor right now. It's actually very delicious. Um, it still has that tobacco hint to it, though. That initial smell that I was getting is still present. Um, you know, I can feel it throughout my entire mouth. Uh, the smoke does coat my mouth nicely, and uh, I actually really enjoy that from this cigar. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is definitely one of those cigars that... It, from the standpoint of the beginning of the cigar that um, I'm quite intrigued by and I'm really interested um, to see exactly how this is going to unfold um, throughout the cigar. Um, the construction itself, and this is one thing that we kind of skipped over on accident, um, is, um, is quite interesting. It almost reminds me of um, like a Cuban roll. Um, like I really like to look at it. Um, had somebody just handed me one and I had no idea what they were speaking of, um, and somebody would have said, guess what that is? Um, I probably would have said it's something from Cuba. Um, it's just kind of that, that gnarly, um, you know, raw kind of roll. It's like nobody really, um, and, 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 you know, and understand that when I say this, I'm not knocking any cigar people, but, you know, there are certain companies out there that take a lot of pride in the appearance of their cigar. And there's other cigar companies out there that don't care as much about appearance as they do about the flavor that you get from that cigar. So this is one of those cigars that I feel like they didn't try to mask the cigar with this perfect, flawless roll. And it's not that it's not a good roll, and it's not that it's falling apart or anything like that. There's nothing structurally wrong with it. It's just, you guys understand what I'm talking about. I mean, you can look at certain cigars and be like, wow, that thing is just aesthetically the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This isn't like that, and uh, and it doesn't affect the quality of the cigar by any means. So let's. Uh, I let's actually think that you know this is something to me. What it looks like, you know, like I said, it comes in a little five pack. They are completely unbanded. There's no band on it. The only thing you get is a little insert in the package that tells you exactly what it is. And to me, this is something that I would, uh, you know, if you're looking for a powerful cigar to go hang out with your friends, you know, and everyone else is smoking these high end cigars or whatever and want to show off, you just want to enjoy a great cigar. This is the one I would throw in my pocket, walk over there, smoke this cigar with them. I mean, you know, this is, it's got great flavors right now and stuff like that. I, you know, I'm really enjoying it. I'm only a centimeter in right now, but, you know, I'm really enjoying the flavor, the leather and the pepper that's coming out with it. Uh, I'm not usually a big pepper fan, but this one seems to do it, you know, sort of, you know, max it well with the leather. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's definitely not overpowering by any means from the beginning. Um, it's just enough. It's like, it's like, you know, that fine cuisine that you have. You know, you can definitely overdo pepper. You can underdo pepper. It is. It's just about perfect. Um, one thing I will note about this is the burn, the edge itself, is black. And, and it's kind of crazy because I can't really recall the last time that I actually saw one that was that black and that defined. I mean, it's literally black all around the edge of the leaf. And, and to me, that's, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Now, if they could have got that to go red, holy it would have been awesome. I don't know. I guess I just did. I'm really sorry if I offended anybody. I, I really try not to, but uh, it certainly doesn't show. It may be bleeped out. You don't know. All right, but we're going to get a little bit further into this cigar. Um, we'll be back in a little bit, and we'll tell you more about it. Absolutely. See you soon. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So uh, here we are. We're about a third of the way through our uh, cigar here, and... Uh, You know, I get a lot of leather, a lot of tobacco. The black pepper from the beginning has really faded. Um, I would say there may be a little hint of it back there if I really try to focus hard on it, but the predominant flavors that I'm getting are definitely the leather and the, uh, and the uh, tobacco flavor. Um, definitely an interesting stick for sure. Yeah, I, I agree with that uh, almost 100%. I get a lot of the, uh, the black pepper type flavor uh, into my retrohale more so than anything else. Uh, in the mouth, I only really get the, like I said, the tobacco flavor and the leather flavor and things like that. 
Um, it is actually a very delicious stick. I'm maybe maybe about halfway in right now, a um, little less than halfway or so. Um, gotta, I'm going to touch it up a little bit in a second here, but we are under a pretty windy area. Uh, we have our exhaust fan going and things like that in the house, so um, maybe it's uh, affecting our burn just a little bit. But I did want to note that it's actually very well um, paired with this Lafroy that we're having. Uh, if you guys aren't into scotch, uh, Lafroy is a little on the smokier side. Uh, reminds me a lot of hanging out outside around a fire pit and just hanging out with a nice glass of scotch or, you know, a libation of any sort of your choosing. But that smell that you get and that flavor you get with the Lafroy is like a campfire. It's very delicious. Uh, it goes really well with the smokiness of uh, the leather that comes out of this cigar. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that as well. Um, one thing I definitely want to make sure that I stress about these, um, like I said in the beginning, they are not for the faint of heart, and both of us have actually noticed the nicotine. Um, and, and I just ate. I mean, when Trident showed up in my house to do this review, um, I was still eating. And as soon as I was done eating, we moved right into here and we started the review. And I have to admit, there has been a few times that, you know, during this cigar that I'm like, man, I might have to get some lemonade or something to kind of put on this uh, nicotine. But, uh, you know, it's since subsided a little bit. You know, I mean, I smoke quite a few cigars, so I mean, my body's got kind of a, a tolerance to the nicotine. But if you are not one of those people that can handle nicotine and it makes you sick, I'm... I'm not telling you don't try the cigar. I'm just telling you to be prepared with something sweet to drink for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, we discussed it, you know, a little bit off camera about the cigar and you know how much power it actually has. You know, like you said, not for the faint of heart. Uh, it is. I would right now describe it as a full flavored, full bodied cigar. One hundred percent, absolutely, no doubt about it. So, and like you see, I mean, my ashes come off a couple times already. Uh, you're again not going to win the longest ash contest with this guy, but. Um, you know, it stays on there enough, um, you know, make sure you're not smoking too hot. Um, you know, right now it's, uh, it's burning pretty well right now. Actually, I didn't even have to touch it up. I don't know if you guys can see that it actually evened itself out. So, you know, it's going pretty well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely, uh, you know, we'll bring you back the last third of this uh, Blood Red Moon. For sure. Stay tuned. So uh, here we are, we're at about the last third of this uh, Blood Red Moon, and uh, I, I just want to kind of give a shout out to uh, Cigar.com. If you guys are interested in uh, picking any of these up, um, we're going to start actually letting you guys know where we're getting these from, so that way if you guys want to go out, we actually had somebody that uh, commented on uh, one of our Facebook posts about doing this as a review that he had not heard of these yet. So uh, we definitely want to tell you guys now where you guys can get this stuff from. So uh, if you happen to check out Cigar.com, let them know that uh, Trident sent you and uh, asked to speak to uh, Andy. Yeah. And uh, just let them know, hey, man, I watched these guys' video on the uh, Blood Red Moon, and uh, let him hook you up. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're definitely available. So, um, you know, I, I really, on the, the pet point of the cigar, I cannot stress enough how strong the cigar is. It is amazingly strong for as small as it is. I mean, I'm, I'm still getting the leather. Still getting the tobacco. Um, it, I, for a minute there, I kind of got a little bit of creamy, but I couldn't really put my finger on what type of creamy I was getting. So I'm just going to call it creamy. Let it be at that. But uh, what do you think? Yeah, no, like I said, it's definitely a powerful cigar. It's definitely not, like you said, for the faint of heart. Um, this is something probably for the seasoned smoker. Um, but I'm not letting you guys, or I'm not telling you guys to shy away from giving it a shot. Um, you really should. It's a great cigar. I think Cult Cigars hit it uh, right on the nose with this one. This is one of my, uh, you know, I'm going to go hang out with the buddies and I'm going to smoke a cigar that I really enjoy. This is going to be part of it. Um, you know, it's a short little smoke. Uh, you know, it's not as large as, you know, a Churchill size or anything else. It takes you four hours to smoke or so, depending on if you're a quick smoker or not. But yeah. um, it's, you know, it, to me it tastes like a great premium cigar. Like you said, the leather, the tobacco. And there's still a little bit of that pepper nose, through, uh, like I said, through the ne through the nose on the retro hail. Um, but it is again pairing very well with this Lafroy. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this, um, but we are both actually drinking Lafroy. Um, his is actually a little lighter than mine. Um, and right behind our ashtray here, we have a little glass of water. And you know, if you guys aren't seasoned Scotch uh, drinkers, uh, sometimes you can add a little bit of a couple drops of water here or there to uh, take away a little bit of that bite and to open up the flavors. 
Um, you know, watch a couple Scotch reviews. There's people who dilute them, um, you know, quite a bit. But this way, it takes a little bit of the alcohol bite right away, and uh, you know, it adds to the flavors. Um, doesn't really take much away. But again, give it a shot. You know, it's all trial and error. What you like. So, you know, he added a little bit more water than I did, but. I prefer the Islet type scotches, so that's where I normally gravitate to when I drink scotch, and you know I like mine a little more powerful. So yeah, absolutely, and you know, and and, and just to say a little bit about that, uh, especially if you're not a scotch drinker, um, Islet scotches are definitely something that that takes a little bit more of that acquired taste, at least for me. Um, I do dilute mine a little bit more with water. Um, it kind of uh, just makes it uh, the bouquet open up for me. Makes it not so harsh. Um, I am definitely more of a Highland Scotch drinker, um, which it is what it is. You know, I mean, there's people out there that just love Highlands. There's people out that love the Islay, and um, I just happen to be one of the Highland drinkers. So by adding the water, by any means, you're not taking away from the Scotch. It's just changing the Scotch just ever so slightly to where it's not as like you know, tried and said, not as bitey. So. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the cigar, you should definitely check it out. Um, you know, give them a call and uh, pick up a five pack or so, give them a shot, you know, hand them out to your friends and things like that. That's what I did. Um, and right now our official time on our Vermont Timekeeper is just over an hour, hour and five minutes or so, and maybe got another 10 or 15 minutes left on my cigar. So yeah. uh, check them out too, Vermont.com. Uh, we also want to uh, thank our troops over uh, overseas, fighting a good fight for us, uh, keeping us safe over here. So. Um, we really appreciate what you're doing for us. That's right. And, uh, you know, like always, you guys can always check us out at www.cigarfellas.com. You can follow us at Facebook at um, facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. Uh, we definitely have started tweeting a little bit more. That's at cigarfellas. And uh, a huge shout out to um, Drew Estates for sponsoring uh, one of our favorite websites, uh, cigarsforwarriors.net. Um, an amazing group of people that are going out of their way to make sure that our troops that are overseas in harm's way are being treated uh, to, you know, a little bit of home by sending them out some cigars. And uh, I think they're doing pipes and pipe tobacco and lighters and cutters. And, you know, I mean, there's just nothing better than, than knowing that people back here and, you know, in the States are really rooting for all of our troops. So uh, we really want to give a huge shout out to uh, CigarsForWarriors.net. And uh, until next time, I'm Moose. I've tried it. We'll see you next time.